This morning I wanted to just go over quickly. I've been talking about using Wix for setting up your mame. This is the little felt strips that I'm using. I have a just a sheet of felt that I cut into pieces. The felt has not been rotting on me. And so I use the felt strips to feed up through the bottom of the pot. This is a little pot that I made myself. This is just out of some concrete, but you just feed your strips up through the bottom of the pot. You can go through the, the eyelets if you want to, but I'll show you how I work this out. So I just use a piece of screen and then I'm going to tie in the tree. So I use a little piece of cable to tie them in with, just standard bonsai practice, I guess. Then I'm going to feed in one wick this direction. Probably should have done this first. I'm gonna run one left and run one to the right. Just going to set it up like this with the two strips coming out of the bottom. So we just set your wicks out of the bottom like this and you run them to either side of your pot like such. Then I just use perlite and the red is ceramis and the dirt is local forest dirt which I kind of like better because I think it has beneficial bacteria in it for the plant roots. We're planting today a tiny little pine that I collected last year. Here is the little mame. I'm going to set him right on the inside of all of this. Spread his roots out. I'm gonna probably position him something like Probably something like that. So if you're gonna try this, this is experimental even for me. Don't plant the tree that you've had for 20 years in this kind of a system and think, yeah, cool, now I'm good to go because I don't know how well this is going to work. This is really a test to see if the wicks can keep the substrate moist. The nice thing about it is you do not have to use the wicks if you don't want to. You can tuck the wicks underneath and then they're out of the way or you can use them whatever it is that you like to do. I think I'm going to set that there. I'm going to put this little rock on the back of here maybe. Something like that I think. Yeah, I like that organization. And then for my fill I always just use soil collected from the forest again because I think it's just my personal thing I really think that the soil from the forest provides some immediate nutrient it also provides bacteria and for pines the necessary mycelium to make that symbiotic relationship with the soil so that the roots can uptake nutrients properly I had him in this last year without a wick, but I did sit the pot in a humidity tray and he did quite well. I think I'm going to kind of do the same thing this year, but I'm going to experiment with um, the wick and see how he, how he reacts to that. I really um, have been loving working with these little trees. I think there's something really s special about such a tiny little tree. It, you can go and literally pick something out of the forest or out of your yard even, which is only a year, two years old, really small, and you can pot him up and he looks beautiful right away. I don't know how old this tree might be, but he can't be that old. He's been with me for one year. Okay. Gonna mist him down. I think the tree looks quite nice. 
The curve is really cool. I like how he sits back inside the stone. There's a little alcove looking space there. Okay. And I have a little tray of moss, which I just picked out of the concrete on the street. I like this really thin, tight moss that grows there. And we can start to plant it out. That's it.